If you look at him carefully, whoever created this grasshopper has paid as much attention to your grasshopper as they have paid to this one. Please pay attention and see. When the source of creation has given equal attention to ant and you, Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan. And you go find your logo. And we are Find Jesse. Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction. And before we get into the reaction, guys, we wanna thank everybody who's been subscribing to your channel. You're the real time with B. We just wanna get to 10,000 subscribers in two days, and I know we're gonna get there. And also the most important thing is we wanna thank everybody who been who've been uh, giving us reaction videos. You're the realest MVP. And also, if you have turned on our uh, post notification, you're also the realest MVP. And if you're not, and if you're new to this channel, we are Fanny and Jesse. We do all kind of reaction videos. Just let us know what kind of videos you want us to do. We're gonna do it for you. And if you're wondering why is it that we don't have our vlogging channel, we do have our vlogging channel. The link is down in the description below. Just go and click that link. It's Fanny and Jesse 2.0. We do a lot of, you know, probably challenges, we can see our daily lives, we explore Cyprus, you can see uh, the nitty gritties of uh, what we do, about the, the, the place we live in, and yeah, just feel free to, sub to subscribe and thank you so much. And also, uh, we also want to thank the people who, who, I mean, the people who have been so nice, the people who are have been so uh, kind to us on reacting on these videos. You're really, really good and thank you so much. We appreciate that. So right about now, we're going to react to uh, what will happen to Earth if all humans die. This is by Sanguru and a lot of people suggested this one. To be honest, a lot of people say, please guys, just go react to this video right here. And yeah, so we are here to, you know, react to your videos and without any further ado, let's get it. I spend a lot of time paying attention to all kinds of creatures, ants and grasshoppers and worms and everything. Suppose all the insects die today. In something like two and a half to four years' time, all life will cease. There is nothing here that is not valuable, everything has its value. From an early age, unfortunately, this is being imposed upon a child's mind that you have to be on top of everybody else. This is like, I want you to just imagine if this happened to other creatures, let's say it happened to the plants and trees and animals. If an ant wants to become like an elephant, that is going to be a terrible ant-elephant, isn't it? Suppose a mango tree wants to become like a coconut tree, it will be a horrible mango tree because with one branch like this, no mangoes will come out of this. A mango tree is like this, a coconut tree is like that. That's how it should be. This has happened because in so many ways, people have put these things into your mind, what is good, what is bad, what is high, what is low, what is up, what is down. Because of this, you have never paid attention to every aspect of life in the sense. So I spend a lot of time paying attention to all kinds of creatures, ants and grasshoppers and worms and everything. If you observe, let's say an ant or let's pick up something little more than an ant, like a grasshopper, it's easier to see him. If you look at him carefully, whoever created this grasshopper has paid as much attention to your grasshopper as they have paid to this one. Please pay attention and see. When the source of creation has given equal attention to ant and you, who the hell are you to think an ant is a lowly creature and you are some superhuman being? Why are you making this judgment? Creation has not made this judgment. You may think you are superior simply because you are in a blatant manner, you are walking on this planet, but that's not true. The fact of the matter is like this. See, if all the worms on this planet, right now if all of them die, all the worms, in about twelve to eighteen months, 
all life on this planet will cease, everything, including you and me. Suppose all the insects die today, in something like two and a half to four years time, all life will cease. But if all the human beings die, the planet will flourish. Yes, we make good manure. If human beings go away, right through this building trees will grow, isn't it? Yes or no? Everything will flourish. So, who the hell is telling you that you are the most significant life? This idea that the cosmos is human-centric is a stupid idea. In this cosmos, even this solar system is a tiny speck. Tomorrow morning if the entire solar system evaporates, nobody will notice it. That's how small it is. In that tiny speck, planet Earth is a micro speck. In that micro speck, Bengaluru is a super micro speck. In that, you are a very big person with great self-esteem. This is… this is not a simple problem. People suffer this for their whole life without handling it. This is all you have to know. Never look up to anybody and never look down on anybody. This is all. Never look up to anything, never look down on anything. If you see everything just the way it is, everything has immense value. Everybody has a place and value to their life, isn't it? Every creature has value. Because we did not realize that, how many things we have destroyed in this world? Simply because we think this is valuable, this is not valuable. There is nothing here that is not valuable, everything has its value. Sanguru is that he is, he is uh, a very eloquent, first of all, and he's eloquent and he, he's just amazing with what he does, you get it? I mean, he makes you think beyond this world, I mean, it, ma it makes you just Think beyond what you've been taught. Yeah, think beyond what you've been taught. And then it just brings a point to a point to a point, all of a sudden it's just boom. Such an amazing person anyway. Such an amazing human being. Of course, what he was talking about is really something to reckon uh, about or to think about, something like that. Imagine if we all die, humans, humans, leave other living things, humans the world will flourish. <laughs> I mean, that, that statement alone is just powerful. Because if, if you look at it carefully, yeah, we are the ones who are creating uh, positions, distractions. distractions, like you are the best, these ants are not the best, so let me kill it. These ants are not supposed to live in this house, let me kill it. The spider is not supposed to come here, let me kill it. Of course, we are scared of the spiders and whatnot, but he has um he has a contribution to put into this world you get it so we humans don't see things that way we want to eliminate such kind of things we want to cut all the trees build uh what houses and whatnot which we we are people who are, we are people of distractions we destroy everything look at the world today we have enormous heat because of the ozone layers breaking there's so much heat, people are dying. It's because of us, we're cutting all the trees down, we're killing all the animals and whatnot. If we die, trust me, the world is gonna flourish. But again, he, he went ahead and talked about we should not look up to anyone and we should not look down upon anybody. Let's just look things the way it is. I feel that's the best thing of I've heard today, like super, super amazing. What do you think? But I think what he said was right, you don't have to look down on anyone, like everyone is good. Well, 
an example is school we're being sent to countries where we're looked at like second best from their own people yeah. which doesn't make sense we're all human we should all be treated equally if your own people can get this then we should get the same service as well yeah but if when it comes to insects that's just another thing i don't like to kill insects but i mean they terrify me Anyway guys, if you feel like you reacted to this video in a better way, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down our comment section and tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction. Uh, the most important thing, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give us a better, better content. And last but not the least, we're going to see you in the next video. And peace out.